Hi, I'm David E. McClendon, and I'm a redneck. Today we're going to discuss the book In the Secret Service by Jerry Parr. Uh, Jerry Parr wrote this book with his wife Caroline, and Jerry Parr, maybe you know or don't know, he's the gentleman that shoved Ronald Reagan into the limo when Hinckley was firing at him. He's the uh, Secret Service agent that made the decision to take the president straight to the hospital rather than going back to the White House, which was known as Crown by the Secret Service. Now this is a very uh, informative book. It gives you a, a reasonable idea about what goes on in the Secret Service. It's basically divided into two parts. One is um, Parr's life leading up to the Secret Service and his life during the Secret Service, and then afterwards his life as a uh, missionary. Now you'd think that the action and adventure stopped when he was um, retired from the Secret Service, but that's not the case. In this book you'll see uh, a up close idea of how the different protectees, as they're called, dealt with and felt about the Secret Service agents, which um, protectees actually um, were human, shall we say, to the, uh, the agents who cared about their families, who cared about uh, their lives other than being a Secret Service agent, and those that just kind of were callous towards the Secret Service and uh, thought that they were just, you know, there at their beck and call or what have you. Now, this book, this gentleman was the head of what they call the PPD, the uh, Presidential Protection Division, uh, at the beginning of Reagan's term. There's another book, Standing Next to History, by Joseph Petro, that uh, Petro takes over from Parr, uh, maybe not necessarily directly right away, but um, Petro came after Parr in the protection of Ronald Reagan. Um, in Standing Next to History, you find a uh, little bit of detail about how the agents are treated, about what it's like to be an agent and run the advances, and uh, so it gives you sort of like, if you read this book first, the uh, in, in the Secret Service by uh, Jerry Parr and uh, Carolyn Parr, and then you read uh, Standing Next to History, you'll get a fairly decent idea of uh, the Secret Service and how it uh, acts, how the agents feel, what it's like to advance a, uh, a visit or a, uh, a tour, get to know a little bit more about some of the people that have been part of history. Between the two, you have uh, Jimmy Carter, uh, Gerald Ford, the uh, Spiro Agnew, Nixon, LBJ, and uh, quite a few others that have taken uh, part in our history. Uh, a little bit about Pope John Paul II. And so, between the two, you need to read both books. Okay, but as far as books are concerned, between the two, if you had to decide, this one would be the one to read, the uh, In the Secret Service by uh, Parr. Anyway, I give it five stars. It's a great read. Um, especially the part where you think, well, the Secret Service uh, life is over. Now, it's not going to be very exciting, but you'd be wrong. Thank you very much for your uh, watching. I need to tell you that I received this book free from Tyndall um, Rewards. There's a program of Tyndall Rewards where you can get books free. And you don't have to write a review. You don't have to give a review to get these free. Uh, stop by our blog and see how... Uh, how you can do that. There will be links on the blog to show you how you can uh, actually get books for free for, from Tyndall. It's a great program. My opinion, my review was in no way influenced by the fact that I got this book free. Thank you very much.